Hey everybody, so I finally got six ounces of my Philharmonics in from Gold Mart. Um, this isn't really going to be like a review video on um, how the Philharmonics look or whatever and about their, you know, uh, non rimmed finish for their edges or about their Vienna Philharmonic um, organ in the back. But pretty much, this is going to be about Gold Mart. Alright, I'm really unhappy with them. I placed the order on the 26th of March, and I didn't get it until today. Today's the 18th of April. Okay, that's really unacceptable. Uh, first of all, this is what Goldmark claims. They claim a lot of, um, they claim everything good. Uh, we provide best customer service, blah, 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 blah. We have the A with the Better Business Bureau. Um, we have great prices, this, 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 this. Okay, yes, they got great prices, but it really was not worth the wait. It just wasn't. And the frustration that I had and all the art in the in the phone calls I had to deal with with um the customer service representative. I mean customer service representative Maria, if you're watching this, you know, I really hate you. I really hope you get fired. You know. I hope the entire bullion deal uh bullion business, you know, Goldmart, I really hope Goldmart just shuts down. Honestly. All right. Um, they don't. Even, they. They. She pretty much. Okay, I asked where my Philharmonics were, and if my order has been processed yet. She pretty much tells me they're still waiting on a depository shipment. Blah 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 blah. So you guys don't have it. Well, technically it is ours because we t placed an order for them, and yeah, they're on their way to us. Okay. I called once a week for three weeks, and they said the same thing. Oh, they're on their way from the depository. Okay, and last phone call, I, I finally snapped. I just went, you know what, honestly, um, can I cancel my order? This isn't doing it for me. Honestly, like, you guys haven't even put any real um, work into my order and it hasn't even processed. You guys claim to have two to four days processing um, for the, every order, and I pay with a uh, credit debit card. <clears throat> and she says, well, I'm sorry for the delay, you know, and then I says, well, you know what, is there any way I can cancel my order? She says there's going to be a $35 cancellation fee and I'm only going to be getting a refund based on today's um, melt price. Are you out of your mind? That is complete rubbish. I just I just couldn't, you know, understand how a business could be like that. They didn't put any real work into my order. No one picked it from the warehouse until literally a couple days ago. My order was literally in their da database for weeks. All right, and I was just really, really frustrated with them. Um, Maria, honestly, you were really rude too. I called them. What do you guys expect when you when a customer service um, representative picks up? Oh, they usually ask, well, can you provide me with your first and last name or your order number so I can check up check up on your information? Usually they ask something like that, right? This is how my the beginning of every conversation I have with Maria goes. Okay. Hi, I have a couple questions regarding my order. Okay. Um, oh well, are you are you able to look up my order number? Yes. Honestly, like I just from there I was already angry. That was just poor customer service, guys. There's no way you can. There's no justification for that. There isn't. I mean, that was just ridiculous customer service. It was terrible. She was terrible. Maria, you were ridiculously rude the entire phone call. And you guys pretty much admitted to selling something you guys don't even have. You guys did not even have these in until uh, literally a couple days ago. <clears throat> Alright. So, Goldmart sells things they do not have. This is from my experience, guys. I'm pretty sure it's happened to a lot of other people. I've read other complaints about them. I've read complaints about them on forums. I've read people have PM'd me on Facebook telling me their experiences on Gold, about Goldmart. Goldmart, you know, honestly, I wish Goldmart is, goes out of business. You know, they first started in California. I'm really wondering why they moved to Nevada. Okay, it's a little sketchy. Think about that for a second. Okay. Um, emails. They don't reply to emails, ever. Um, the BBB, the Better Business Bureau, they claim, Goldmark claims to have an A with them. They don't. They have a D minus, guys. They have a D minus. Okay. 
Right now, I'm posting this first ever video on YouTube about Goldmart, about their terrible customer service and their lies. Okay, I haven't seen any other one post a video about Goldmart. The only video about Goldmart on YouTube right now is um, this guy um, representing Goldmart saying, oh yeah, this is at some kind of coin show, you know, some dude in glasses. Then we have another video from Goldmart, you know, straight from Goldmart, some old guy with glasses, um, you know, talking, um, pretty much advertising for Goldmart and saying this, 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 we're this, 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 we have the best prices, this, this, this. Okay, yes, you guys have best prices, but you guys have terrible customer service. You guys have terrible customer service representatives. Okay, I even called out Maria on this. Why do you guys have a D- in your Better Business Bureau when you guys claim in your YouTube video that you have an A-? And the YouTube video was pretty new. It was made in the end of January. She says, oh, well, you know, we got hiccups in our business and we're trying our best to pick it up. You know, things are going not going too well. Okay, well, obviously, but that doesn't justify why you're selling me things that you guys don't even have in the first place. The Philharmonics at the time of purchase said in stock and ready to ship. I mean, look, one, two, three, four, five, six. How hard, how, what in, what a simple order. It's such a simple order of six Philharmonics. I really don't understand how it would took three weeks for them to get it. I think every bullion dealer should always have these in stock. You know, Gainesville Coins, when they run out of stock for something, lately they've been running out on the Canadian Maple Leafs, but if you go to the Canadian Maple Leafs, it says delayed shipping until this date, this date. Please understand, we won't get these in until this date, this date. Okay, Goldmark doesn't have that. They just said, in stock, ready to ship. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, You know, guys, honestly, if you guys have any way to justify why Maria was so rude, say le leave a comment below. If you guys can justify why Goldmart had, had the right to sell things they don't even currently have at their warehouse, if you can justify that, leave a comment below. If you can justify why they lied about how they have great customer service, but they have really, really cruddy customer service representatives, leave a comment below. If you have a justification, if you can justify for them why they have a D- minus when they said, when they lied about having an A with the Better Business Bureau, leave a comment below. Okay, you get my point, guys. Honestly, like, I have, I, this, is, has not, this has been nothing but the worst experience. This is nothing but the worst experience with any bullion dealer, honestly. Like, yes, at Max, Gainesville, Gainesville Coins, they have a little bit higher premium, but honestly, like, those, uh, for me to save a couple bucks on these, just wasn't worth it for me to like go through all this frustration you know I'm thinking now that you know those couple of bucks I would have been happy giving those extra couple of bucks to like you know at Mex or Gainesville coins you know I've placed um, during the last three four during the four weeks I've been waiting on this order I made two I made two other orders with at Mex and I've already gotten them way before these came and each order that includes my 2013 gold panda guys I placed an order for that a week after I made this, after I made an order for these. And then when these came in, you know, I counted how, how long have I had the gold pen for. At least two weeks. It's ridiculous. And then, you know, I, I would have been a lot, I'd be a really happy if I, like, was able to tip, you know, the business. You know, I think of it as tip, you know, for Atmex, honestly. Their service is great. Um, Miss Jana Smith and Atmex, you know, you're 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 really good to me. You're awesome. You're really attentive. You're the, probably um, the better customer service representatives um, in the business. Um, maybe I got lucky, but you know, Jana Smith from Atmex, if you're watching this, thank you. Um, Maria from customer service and Goldmart, I hate you. I l I would love to flip you off right now, but I'm not going to do it in front of the camera. All right, so. But yeah, guys, if you guys uh, have any, like, terrible experiences with Goldmar or any other bullion dealers, let me know. Leave a comment below. Maybe you'll help me feel a little bit better about this purchase. You know, I mean, I've heard uh, um, I've heard experiences where people say, oh, yeah, I've made an order with Goldmar. I've made multiple calls to them. You know, when I received my order, my coins were all scratched up. I think they did it on purpose because they were mad at me or for something. I and mean, stuff like that. You know, these Philharmonics, you know, I don't see any, like, noticeable scratches on them. So I think I got pretty lucky. But these ones are fresh because they were waiting on these apparently from a depository so these are new and not pre-owned at all so yeah
So anyway guys, I'm um, sorry for the rage video, I'm just really disappointed with this entire experience with Goldmar and uh, I'm never ordering from them again, but if you know what, if you're really willing to wait 4 or 5 weeks and deal with the frustration, you know, then by all means, go ahead and buy from them. You know, they have low prices, you know, I mean, but other than that, they're just terrible with everything else. You know, they lie about everything. Alright, thanks for watching guys.